Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at something called event retention, right? And event retention is curator's ability to split different types of events into buckets and automatically delete those buckets uh, when you specify it. So if we click on it, we can see that by default, right, we have a one month retention. And go ahead and double click it. And it says that it's going to delete data in this bucket immediately after the retention period has expired, right? So everything that's going to be directed. Um, But this bucket is going to be deleted after one month. But I'm not sure if it's uh, enabled right now because I see 0% distribution. So it's probably going to go into effect once we have another bucket here enabled. So let's go ahead and edit the first line. I'm going to leave it at bucket one. Uh, let's go ahead and give it, uh, for example, one year. I want this to retain data for one year. And you know what, actually, let's go ahead firewall events, right? And I'm gonna set it to immediately after the retention period is expired. You can set a description. And in here we can add filters that will match events that need to go into those buckets. So because we specified firewall events, go ahead and do log source type equals netgate pfsense and hit save. So basically now every event that is going to be sent from pfsense is going to be attached to this bucket, which will have a retention of one year. Additionally, I can do one for Windows events And I'll just give it six months for example purposes. And I'm going to do the same with log source. Seems to be a bit bugged. Let's try that again. Interesting. Um, yeah, for some reason it's showing up behind my my interface that's quite interesting uh but we have log source type and we can select our microsoft uh, security event log at filter and you can add any amount of filters uh that you want you can also add um uh, for example events that also are from windows and they have the username Um, equals any of my username, right? And if you go ahead and save, and now you have two filters for this one, one filter for this one, and we have to go ahead and uh, click on save here. And after a few moments here, we're going to see that distribution is going to be um, changed based on the volume of events that are split between those two and the rest uh, are going to probably be sent to the default bucket. So let me go ahead and pause the video here again. And once the distribution changes, I will resume it and show it to you guys. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, welcome back. And as we can see, 99% uh, percent of our current event volume is being sent to the default uh, bucket and less than 1% is being sent to Windows and 0% for PFSense. And the reason is because my volume of events from those devices are so low that it still didn't manage to catch up. But that's the um, event retention function in a nutshell. 
and you can play around with it and define any combination of buckets that you want. Um, they do have order precedence, so the first one is going to take priority over the ones that are below it, so make sure that you pay attention to that. And that's going to be it for this lesson, and I will see you guys in the next one.